cartoonist <laughs> Nathan W. Pyle started the popular webcomic Strange Planet back in 2019. It features the colorful, colorful beings of Orb, that's what it's called, as they explore some things we humans know pretty well, but translated into their own quirky language. More than 7 million people follow Strange Planet on Instagram. You should be one of them. It's spawned multiple New York Times best-selling books. I'm sure you've seen them. And it has now been turned into a series on Apple TV+. Plus. The show takes an insightful and humorous look at human topics like love, like friendship, and some of the weird things we do every day, like flying on an airplane. Here's a preview. Now flying machines tend to stay in the air, filled with beings like you experiencing many sensations, including indecision, jealousy, and even inspiration. Note that this flying machine is designed to stay intact, even if an emergency plops onto liquid. If your seat is in the peril row, you must help us take the machine apart. Your reward is more leg room. Please refer to the danger menu in your seat pocket for further tips on how not to die. These safety precautions will ensure that this flight is both comfortable and free of fatalities. Enjoy flying in comfort and statistically probable survival. <laughs> I am getting That's on an airplane so in just a couple hours. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Planet Creative uh, and executive producer Nathan W. Pyle joins us now. Nathan, thank you very much for being here. Tony, thank you. hopefully your flight will be free of fatality. I don't want to be in the peril row. Yes, <laughs> Although I do like that leg room. Exactly. Uh, right. I was reading that the, the idea for this comic series uh, began when you were cleaning up your apartment for a party, yeah. which usually involves like getting all your clutter away so people can use the place, and you're putting a toaster into a closet and right. then Eureka. Yeah, it wasn't far from here, actually. Small apartment in New York City. Had to hide all of our possessions for a party. And we had a galley kitchen. Uh. We wanted to be able to have anyone go in the kitchen. So you have to hide things when your friends come over. Yeah. Of course. Realize that's part of life. Yeah. You have to make sure no one knows you have anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then all these ideas come to mind. You know, if you're viewing it from the outside, if you're defamiliarizing, it really does begin to seem strange but it's it's part of what we all do together. Yeah. And it's warm. Yeah. You do it because you care about your friends. Of yes. course, of yes. course. Yes. It's, it's emotional. Yeah. But, but you know what I like, Nathan? I like the uh, Strange Planet lingo. <laughs> like, what is a group roll machine? That's a bus. What are foot tubes? Oh, those would be socks. Jitter liquid. That's coffee. Hard-footed run monster. That might be a horse. Yes. And mild poison. <laughs> and that would be any kind of alcohol. For yeah, but see, part, that's part horse. of the yeah. fun. And when, when people are kissing, what are they doing? They're mouth pushing, yeah. Yes, they're mouth pushing. <laughs> yeah. This is what I think is so fun. And we should say your wife, your lovely wife, Taylor, is here. Yeah. I see her name on the credits. Yeah. So what is the thinking behind how you all come up with the mm. ideas and the language that you use? It's so clever. So creative and so well done. Oh, well, it's a celebration of humans, really. Uh, confetti is tiny Not humans, trash. Beings. Yeah, uh, sorry. Well, <laughs> the, the beings are really kind of an analog. Okay. For humans. Okay. So when when humans created confetti, it was really just throwing trash in the air. <laughs> that was so sweet because before that was just trash, uh -huh. but now it's a way to celebrate someone. You, you you have ticker tape parades. It's really just throwing trash out the window. Yes. But that's a beautiful thing that humans do for each other. A sustenance preserver is a refrigerator, <laughs> right? And that preserves what sustains us. Yes, it's an important. No, it machine. all makes are, sense are, the way you do it because what what I like about this show is that you're <laughs> celebrating us as people, sure, uh, criticizing us, but also um, celebrating, criticizing, but also rejoicing about how we are and who we are. Oh yeah, no, I, I, my thought is there has to be more planets like this out there. Uh -huh. The the latest images of deep space. The way I think of it is there have to be some socks in that image. If you could zoom in close enough, someone out there is wearing socks. Yes. Yeah. I, I know that's true. Guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. This process of, uh, of defamiliarizing, you yeah. know, looking at something through the alien eyes, uh, are you doing that all the time? And if so, how does that affect the, uh, the likelihood of mouth pushing with your wife? She, <laughs> does she ever say, just stop, let's be familiar? Let's. <laughs> well, we have two young children, okay. a toddler and a, a two-month-old. Uh -huh. And you're explaining the world wow, to them helps. all the time. Yeah. And it, it's really wonderful. And my daughter just now likes spooky music. She likes Phantom of the Opera. It's a wonderful moment when you realize minor chords make us feel a certain way. This feels spooky. And you can explain that to your child. Yeah. And that's, that's life. Um, you actually drew us on I did, uh, yeah. Strange Planet. I did. Do, I did. We, do we have that available? Can we, can we see that? <laughs> that's that's us right there. I see me on the left with the glasses. 
Gail with the, with the accessory on. She's always rocking something around her necklace. neck. Wow. And look at Tony just, you know, looking Tony handsome as usual. Tony has on socks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did that because you're always putting your uh, your chin on your hands like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a thinkers pose. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. We watch every day. I, I'm serious. I watch you every well, day. Well, we really appreciate that. We, we do. Thank <laughs> you. For we, yeah, and we thank you. But how do you decide on the look for the aliens? Because I think that even they are cute. Well, I think we we look cute from far away. Yeah. I think I think that's the idea. In my mind, if there are species out there much larger than us, uh -huh. when they look down on us, they probably notice that we're all roughly the same size. And we're all probably just wearing a few accessories. Yeah. That's probably how we look to them. Yeah, and we're it, pretty puny underneath it all. And we're pretty small. <laughs> we're pretty fragile, Part too. Part of the right. thing, too, about this show is the voices that you get to do oh, yeah. characters. I love that. Tremendous Playing the talent. guessing game of who's who. What's it like to go from the strip, to, though, to TV? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I think that's Well, so the cool strip had guys. a... I, I was making uh, these strips. They have an average of 35 words uh -huh. per strip. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a, a screenplay is like 25 pages yeah. for a half hour. So that's, it's, uh, I needed a lot of help. And there's a tremendous talent in the writing room. Dan Harmon uh, guided me. Steve Levy guided me. There was Nothing a lot of can't learning. handle Nathan W. Pyle. And W stands for what? William. Yeah. William. <laughs> okay, I like that. I thought it was weird. The, the, yeah. comic, the comic is fantastic. The show is terrific. Thank you, Congratulations. It's great. It. It's I'm great. very glad it exists. I'm very Me glad too. you exist. Keep defamiliarizing. I will. It's streaming on Apple TV Plus right now. It's a smart show.